What's up, guys? Oh, wait. I was going to tell a joke at the beginning of this one. Uh, one second. <clears throat> what do you call an alligator in a vest? An investigator. Um, hey, guys. What guys are bad? Blah, blah, blah. Hey, guys. It's me, Babs. Uh, back again with the next episode in my This is the Police series Let's Play thing. Um, glad you guys are here to join me. Sorry about the long pause. I was trying to think. Let's read these headlines. Orthodox priests bribe mayor. Nice. Love it. Greek priest to be appointed head of Freeburg Orthodox Church. Students volunteer to help farmers. Let's start the day. Ooh, cutscene right off the bat. Patches is here, licking my hand. I just my spent the last. Never mind. Was I'll tell you after. Smell of Vicus Vargas fruity cologne. It was like the sharp citrus scent. Oh yeah, Varga. Around the house, as if Vickers was right there in my. We just living met room. Varga. When I finally realized the smell was coming from a big basket of oranges, it didn't put me any more at ease. I'd open what? my door to lots of threatening mail, evidence of criminal wrongdoing, even a dead ferret or two, but fruit, never. Hmm. You the fruit guy? Excuse me. Was it you that brought the basket of oranges? Nah, it was here when I arrived. Fine. So who are you? Today, I'm your driver. And uh, where are we driving? To work. That's it? Yeah, we have to make an important stop along the way. Where? Ooh. The ranch. What ranch? Just the ranch. Fine. This will be the first episode where I don't do the third times a charm the clutch thing. Seems surreal, and I times change. Magic. Why wreck it with meaningless chatter? Oh, this is uh, Sans Mansion. Uh oh, am I dead? Started to feel like I was in the middle of a bad dream. I might be dead, guys. Bloody and concussed in the alley behind the old Colony Club. My nose buried. Be the change. An orange peel. But no, this was no dream. The silence was real. The sound of the engine was real. The dust was real enough, too. And there was the ranch over the horizon. It all seemed familiar. The Sand family's overbearing mansion has been the talk of the headlines for decades, but few have managed to get closer than a few miles. I guess I'm just lucky. Be the change, guys. Whatever happens, be the change you want to see. Hashtag be the change. Hashtag bags. Get it trending. Please, please, please subscribe. Like the video. What's up, Sand? How's it going, buddy? This is awkward. Um, how's your day been? I didn't know you took private meetings, Mr. Sand. Only if I expect good company. I'm surprised my company ranks at all. Today, yes. Today is a special day. So it seems. Do you often go to the old colony club, Jack? Every week. Meet any interesting people there? As a rule, no. Sometimes you make a date, right? I think the colony club is the strip club from the first cutscene. But that's not why I go. And why? I consider it a hobby. Hmm. A hobby. Do you know anything about my hobbies? Well, judging by the half dozen animal skins I stepped on walking over here, it's not <laughs> much of a reach to say you like hunting. Love it. Well, I say that now. It seemed so tedious when I was a child. Took ever so long. But now I'm older. I've developed a new talent. What talent is that? Patience. The will to wait for the right moment. Let's say you want a deer. You know, you deserve it. You've even decided what dishes its meat will go to and where you'll mount its horns. But to get that deer, you've got to wait. To sit in the bushes and stay nice and quiet. Professional hunters will tell you that the hunt is a rare craft. 
There are many rules. It's shrouded in mystery and ancient skill. Well, that's all complete nonsense. To get a deer, you just sit on the sidelines for a long enough time, pinpoint the moment when it's finally time to shoot. Or just drive down the road. Jack. It practically attracted the vehicles. You truly are the master. I don't understand. Oh, come on, Jack. I know about the half million. I know your plan. Kendrick told me everything. Needless to say, I'm impressed. <laughs> While some people learn to hold their breath for minutes on end and not to rustle the leaves too loudly, why you decided to just become the foliage. You turned yourself into a bush. Surrounded by deer who've been so fruitfully multiplying for decades. But all this time you've held your rifle at the ready. Uh, forgive an old man his imagery, Jack. I have the heart of a poet, I confess. Huh. I don't know what was said between you and Kendrick, but it sounds like you got it wrong. Oh, I think I understand Yeah, I don't care about the money. Fine. And I think we understand each other quite well. Jack, in the coming war, we'll make excellent partners. What war? One war falls upon every generation. My grandfather drove out the Ambersons back when he was 27. My father destroyed that psychopath gangster, Boris Bell, when he was a sprightly 30. At 69, I'd begun to think my war had passed me over. But my time has come at last. Tomorrow, Dying? Varga declares war. Oh. I am obliged to answer. So that's so Varga. We're talking about Varga now. I don't know the head he haunts you. I don't even know whether he plans his actions or not. I can't divine his purpose. Hell, I don't even know where he comes from. He's a man not of our breed, wouldn't you say? Sure. But when he arrived here, I invited him in, told him we could work together. An official invitation penned in my own hand and written on some very expensive paper. And can you imagine his reply? A fruit basket. What sense can be made of such a message? I guess it means whatever you want it to. Precisely. I'm late for work, Mr. Sand. You know, Jack, I could just give you half a million right now. Cash, whatever denominations you like. But I would never insult you so. If I went stalking my prey for so many years, I wouldn't want someone else to shoot it for me. I understand you, Jack. And I'll never ask you for anything that's contrary to your nature. Bullshit. Just you know how much this guy's asked me to do? Conversation. Think about it. And call You're not me. fooling me, Sand. You're a bad guy. And even though I'm a little bit confused about what is going on here and who Varga is, you're still a bad guy. Not as bad as City Hall, I don't think. Like I said, it's a whole new life, and I've had to give up some old habits. One of them, keeping away from things that don't concern me. Now I can't afford the luxury. This spotlight I'm under, concerns is all I got. Hmm. Mm. Who should we help? I don't know. This game doesn't do a great job at giving me, like, details. This feels very vague. All of my decisions feel very vague. Um, I don't like sand. Varga seems kind of goofy. But sand's like... <sighs> And from a gameplay aspect, I don't like the um, the abilities I get from Christopher Sand. Like, I'm not going to ever use... I'm not going to try to get cops killed, you know? It just doesn't make any sense. And those are the benefits, gameplay-wise, that I receive from helping out Sand. So I'm not sure what Varga gives me, if anything. But I think I'm going to go with Varga. Because maybe Varga can help me at least take down Sand or something. So let's uh, let's go with Vigas of Arga. Uh, let me know in the comments what um, what you guys would pick here and uh, the reason behind it. Be interested in reading through those.
Oh, I'm calling the number. That's what that sound Tell is. It's Boyd. He wrote his number on my arm in the last episode. Okay, shift B. Looks like nobody's asking for the day off. Thank God. So this is my snitch now, Hoang. I'm assuming that's what that symbol means. A little mouse or rat. I don't know what that gives me, but I don't know. We'll find out. Let's choose a song. Let's just go with some Beethoven. Ludwig van Beethoven. Pump, pump, pump. Right. So we got Samadhi and Birch Jr. that are giving us a hand today, guys, um, from Shift A. Let's see. City Hall. Oh, I got my weekly salary. I can actually kind of forgot that I got one. Uh, inspection. We're concerned about the low effectiveness rating of Freeburg's finest. Specially authorized inspectors have been invited to visit the department. Okay, that's fine. Take care of the hero. Tomorrow's going to be the day. Don't let anything happen to him until then. Who's that? Uh, Beasley, one of my investigators. Okay. All right. Let's look through here before the day starts. I need to wait three more days before I can ask for upgrades. They're not going to give me any anyways. Yeah. And see, this is, what I was, this is what I was talking about, about sand, helping sand out the gameplay aspects. Um, I can have them take out my own cops or my investigators. Um, I'm not sure what this means. The mafia will intimidate members of the committee before the hearing at the prosecutor's office. I think that that's going to come into play whenever in my investigations, when I get to like the, the top dog, if I ever do, I've already failed the first one, but if I get to the top dog, I think there'll be like a hearing and then this would allow me to intimidate the committee to like get a guilty verdict, I guess, but still like, I'm not going to do that. Let's somebody's guilty then then they'll be found guilty um don't do anything here i'm full i don't have any slots okay and then i wanted to look at my deputy i can do police academy oh these are new consulting detective Fifty thousand. an experienced but retired detective who will assist your investigation for a modest fee okay uh, by names. Find out which of your employees plan to testify against you. What? By signs. Convince your employees not to testify against you. Oh, no. I don't think I've gotten to any of that yet. I hope. Statistics. I haven't even looked at this yet. My best detective is Case. He literally has done nothing. Nothing. Stovall is my best. I think that just means the highest star rating. I have three officers have died, zero detectives, one detective fired, three officers fired. I've earned 17,000. I've spent almost 17,000. Uh, I have 168 days left. I'm on day 12. Da, 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 da. Crime solved, failed. So I have pretty good success rating, I'd say. Cool. Uh, sorry if that was boring. All right. Massive fight at King Lewis nightclub. Uh, we received a call from the club manager who said that a brawl broke out in the main hall involving over 20 men. Security are keeping back because some of the combatants are carrying knives. Several wounded are already lying on the dance floor, but no one knows why the mayhem broke out. I think we're going to want to send a paddy wagon to this one. Now that we have one, we'll go ahead and send SWAT because there's 20 people. Um, we'll throw Mitchell in there, Kochi, and... We'll throw in Yancey and Robin. No, Birch Jr. I want to rank Birch Jr. up. Hopefully that's enough. You would think so, though. I don't know how many people are part of the SWAT team, but that's a lot of bodies to throw at a, that problem. And it sounded like they only had knives for the most part. <clears throat> All right, what's next? All right, the situation is more serious than we thought. Requesting reinforcements. All right. Hmm. Well, I can't send my entire force, so we'll send Robbins. 
and we'll go and send Hoang. I still don't know what the whole snitch thing is. I'm genuinely curious about that. Maybe I should read about it. Let's uh, let's read about that. Is that under? Where's he at? Uh, info. Snitch sense. It costs 500 per week. Does that just maybe just speed up my investigations or something? Look how many people I have on this. And, uh, I don't have enough frames still. I need frames today for that, to solve that. Um, okay. Well, whatever. Assault in the suburb. Two teens walking their dog got into an argument and eventually one of them unleashed the dog on the other. Oh, that's terrible. Patches, you hearing this? Police were called by a girl who was riding her bicycle nearby. Well, Samadhi, it's time to prove yourself. Let me know if you need help. I can't help you because everybody's busy, but just let me know. I'll send you thoughts and prayers or something. This is a big situation that came up right at the beginning. All right. Anybody hurt? Oh, let's go. Good. I needed that. All right. Ooh, what's going on here? Wait, what? I got two things that popped up here. Oh, this is, I send, uh, I sent, uh, what, uh, Samadhi by himself. Okay. With a dog. Okay. A boy is struggling on the ground, barely holding off an angry dog that's trying to grab him by the throat. Fire shots in the air, pull on the dog's collar, hit the dog with a taser. Hmm. I might ta ta tase the dog. I pull on his collar. Somebody's going to get bit. I don't want that. A fire shots in the air. That's terrible. You should never. When you shoot, when you shoot in the air, you know, the bullet comes back down. So you should never you're better off if you're trying to like shoot for some reason um, This is just a pro tip from Babs if you're trying to shoot to like warn something or like for starters You should never like just shoot to like warn somebody I guess but if you're trying to like scare of a dog or a wild animal shoot into the dirt um, Don't shoot in the air because the bullet comes back down and people die that way all the time uh, Let's hit the dog with a taser The dog lets the boy escape and its owner starts to flee um, ornage, order, ugh. run after him, order the teenager to halt, borrow the girl's bicycle. <laughs> I kind of like that. I kind of like that. And you know what? That kind of, this sounds fitting, uh, for Samadhi. I could probably just order him to halt, but let's borrow the girl's bicycle for the meme. Got him. Samadhi. That's why you got two stripes, Samadhi. All right. Now we're doing this one. Uh, homicide at the church. Uh, parishioner Maria Serpentine reported the sounds of gunshots inside the church. A bearded man in a hat entered the confessional, and then a minute later, I heard a few gunshots. Then the man calmly left the booth, took off his hat, and crossed himself and sat down on a pew. I think he's praying. Did he shoot the priest in the confessional? How much time do I have? I'd like to send SWAT. Let's see. I got 20 seconds. We'll see if uh, these guys come back in time to send there. Looks like it. Looks like we'll have time. Be close. There we go. All right, we're going to send SWAT. Um, we'll send Mitchell, Robbins, Wang, and I'm going to get Samadhi back soon. And I think I'm going to get these two back soon too, uh, Birch Jr. and Kochi. So that being said, let's go ahead and send Yancey because this guy sounds kind of crazy. Like he's just giving himself up is what it might look like because he's just sitting there at the pew. But, um... Yeah, that's kind of crazy. Kind of worried about it, so I'm going to send a lot. 
Uh, what's this? Inspection. Oh, yeah, they're inspecting this. Okay. These officers are needed for official questioning. This will take a few days, during which time they will be exempt from all duties. Birch Jr., Kochi, and Armstrong. Uh, all right. I mean, there's nothing I can really do about it. That sucks. That's annoying. St. John's Hospital. Attempted murder. Quit. Why are people out here murdering, dude? We just wake up one day and you're like, I think I'm going to do a murder today. St. John's Hospital. Linda Howard. Her words slurred said the dentist paralyzed her face during her latest visit. The monster stuck me with some kind of poison. Arrest him. Well, that, that's what dentists do. They numb you. That's what they do. We'll, we'll check it out. I only have one officer because uh, I'm getting an inspection. And in oddly enough, I have the strange suspicion the inspector is going to say that I'm not um, responding to enough crimes uh, while simultaneously holding 30% of my officers uh, for inspection. Sorry, I just ranted to her about my problems. I shouldn't do that. Her face is numb, so it looked like she was kind of scared, actually, while I was talking to her. But I think it was normal. At the church. Okay, we got him. Nobody's harmed. Okay, so we're out of SWAT for the day. Oh, my gosh. Look how many guns he had. Loot found non-automatic weapon. A lot of them. Huh, I wonder what we do with the weapons. Oh. Uh, officer found non-automatic weapon at the crime scene. What do you want them to do with it? Ask the mafia to sell it. Bring to the police station. <sighs> bring to the police station. We're going to do the right thing there. Don't care about the money. Be the change, guys. Hashtag be the change. Hashtag Babs. Get it trending. Uh, false alarm. The girl was injected with normal painkillers. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's why I only sent one cop. I'm a pro gamer. I can read between the lines. What's next? Terrorism. Christopher G. Sands Ice Arena. An ice cream vendor noticed a suspicious black bag, which has been lying unsupervised on a bench for the past few hours. Uh oh, I don't have SWAT. Oh no. I don't, this feels like bait. If I don't send SWAT, if it is a bomb, I hope it's a false alarm. And then Sand, Sand didn't tell me that he was doing anything today. I don't think. I don't have anything written down on my paper. Could it be Varga? Could Varga be trying to bomb Sand's ice ring? I'm just afraid to send cops and them to die. And without SWAT, I don't know how I can how I could defuse the bomb. Crap. One, two, three, four, five. I could send all four of my guys. This might be cursed. Let's play number two. I got a bad feeling about this. I got a bad feeling, guys. I think I might have four dead cops. Be the change. Be the change. Be the change. Be the change you want to see. Looks like we have a situation here. Okay. Officers arrived on the scene and observed that there's something moving inside the bag. Shoot the bag until it stops moving. Stay back until the bomb squad arrives. Do I have a bomb squad? I'm going to, I'm going to, I guess maybe we do have a bomb squad without SWAT. So we're going to stay back until the bomb squad arrives. Okay. Okay. We're good. What was in the bag? A bomb? I don't know. All right. Ooh. Okay. 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 We got it. We got this frame right here. Molly. Right? 
Oh no no no! Because uh, the the tenant said that the he did talk to her. What was the tenant's name? Um, I sold her a ticket after the show started, although I usually don't do that. But she was really really nice. I noticed a bottle in her hand, but I thought it was soda. I wouldn't think much such a pretty young lady would uh, come to the movies with anything hard. Oh oh! I just understood what he meant by hard. He's talking about alcohol. All right, finally, we got her done. Goodness, look at all the investigators on that. Uh, the suspect is Zoe Nosek, a student. About a month ago, she unsuccessfully applied for an usher job at the Last Picture Show Theater. So she didn't get the job. She was upset, so she threw a molly at the screen and risked a bunch of people's lives. Sounds about right. I know a couple women like that. Arson, suburb, Zoe Nosek is on a permanent vacation. She spends most of her time in her parents' house. We have to send two officers and a lead investigator. Uh, okay, well, Moser is not available. So can I do this later? Hopefully I can do that on another day because my lead investigator is not available and the last time I tried to do that, I failed. I'm not even going to bother trying to do that without the lead investigator again. I also didn't have SWAT to send. So it's a pretty busy day. Um, I guess that's it. End the day. Do we get a cutscene? Nope. Uh, why is Armstrong out? Oh, he's uh, getting the inspection with Birch Jr. and Kochi. So do I need anybody to work? Tomorrow? No. I really don't understand what the snitch does. I wish I read what he does. But regardless, that's going to do it for this episode, guys. Thanks for checking it out and sticking around with me. Uh, let's get hashtag be the change. Hashtag bags trending. Um, I don't know where it's trending. Anywhere. YouTube comments, Twitter. Doesn't matter. Um, follow me on Twitter so that I can be a part of that trend. Um, the link to my Twitter should be in the description of the video. And I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.